The most goals ever scored in a 38-game Premier League season was Mo Salah's 32 in the 2017-18 season. However, back in the early 1990s, in a 42-game season, both Andy Cole and Alan Shearer scored a record 34 goals. But in something that's never been seen before in English football, Erling Haaland is on pace to absolutely destroy these records. With some analysts projecting him to score anywhere from 50 to 60 goals in the Premier League alone. In just 9 matches, Haaland has scored a total of 15 goals and 3 assists, leading to an insane 2 goal contributions per game, becoming the first player in Premier League history to have 3 successive home game hat-tricks, and scoring nearly twice as much as the league's second top scorer, Harry Kane. But that's not the only crazy thing Holland is doing this season. In fact, there are many more incredible stats that might blow your mind. Doing things we've never really seen since Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi's best ever seasons. Those two were constantly one-upping each other for a decade. But as of right now, there's really no other player that rivals the insane things that Holland is doing. That's right, not even Mbappe. So today, we're gonna look at how Erling Holland is breaking football. If you look at the rise of Erling Haaland, it's pretty crazy to see the evolution of his goal scoring ability. There weren't many that would really know Haaland until he was in Red Bull Salzburg in the Austrian Bundesliga. Although it isn't exactly a top 5 league, I personally remember when I heard that some 19 year old had scored a total of 29 goals and had 7 assists in 27 matches, which included 5 hat tricks in a single season and winning the league title for both seasons he stayed with the club, I thought it was just too good to be true. In fact, I was a little skeptical and had my doubts as well. And I'm sure that many of you felt the same way hearing about Holland for the first time. Maybe it was a fluke season or he was just too good to be there. I recall seeing a lot of people on social media wondering if he could maintain that form in a top league. And naturally, I had wondered the same thing as well. However, when Holland would move to Dortmund, a lot of doubt and skepticism would start to go away and he would prove himself more and more. This is when the memes would start. We would see a Holland that was literally bulldozing his way past defenders and scoring bangers. I myself slowly turned from a doubter to a believer, as Holland would continue to absolutely hammer goals match after match. The guy even gained weight and put a lot of muscle on, making him even more of a physical specimen. We've never really seen Holland before. The man is nearly 2 meters tall, or about 6 foot 4. And you might think, well, Zlatan Ibrahimovic is quite similar to him. After all, they're both pretty much the same height and are quite acrobatic. And while that might be true, their overall skill set is quite different. Holland is cool. His size and acrobatic athleticism also helps him jump, slide, or contort his body and get the ball anywhere as long as it's in reach for the goal. And his finishing is much more different from that of Cristiano Remember Ruud van Nistelrooy. He was infamous for being what many would call today as a quote-unquote tap-in merchant. He was incredibly accurate near the goal. But hilariously enough, this Man City fan describes Holland perfectly. Start Holland, and I love Aguero. Whoa! I love Aguero. Whoa! But Holland is like the striker Van Nistelrooy always wanted to be. As soon as Holland arrived in Dortmund, he would continue to do the same thing he did of goals. He'd have 16 goals and 6 assists in his short 18 match debut in the Bundesliga, becoming the fastest Bundesliga to score 5 goals and becoming the first to score 7 goals in only 3 matches on their debut. I started to think, wow, this kid is the fastest and youngest player to ever score 20 goals in Champions League history, as well as being the youngest to score at least 2 goals in 4 consecutive matches. Ultimately, finishing off as a Champions League top scorer and being named the tournament's best forward. And in Germany, he'd win the Player of the Season award and would finish the season with a total of 41 goals and 12 assists in 41 appearances. Absolutely monstrous for a 20-year-old. And despite having some injuries in his hips and hamstrings that would sideline him for a few months, in his final season with Dortmund, the man was still in form as ever, with 29 goals and 8 assists in only 30 matches. So during his time in Germany, Holland holds the record as the youngest and fastest to score 50 goals, which only took him exactly 50 matches. He also became the youngest to score 4 goals in a single match, and was the first player to score a hat-trick coming in as a substitute when he came on the pitch after 56 minutes of play. That's just insane for a guy who wouldn't even be old enough to buy a beer in the US. But despite all of that, the only success he's really had with his club was the German Cup. 
and yet there was still some doubters saying Holland played in a farmer's league and still really needed to prove himself and win some real silverware. Which brings us to today, where Holland moved to play in the consensus number one league in the world, making an absolute mockery of the Premier League. I remember he faced a lot of criticism early on, failing to score in Man City's 3-1 Community Shield loss to Liverpool. But after that, Holland would go on a monstrous run, even setting a record for most consecutive home appearance hat-tricks with three, while also becoming the first player to score in his first four away games, and is already on pace to smash every Premier League single season goal scoring record there is. In fact, if you look at the most Premier League goals scored in a player's first 10 matches, Holland easily stands above the rest while doing it at a much younger age. And like I mentioned, he's on his way to destroy the Premier League single season goal record. Also, look at the list of the most goals scored by players in their first 30 matches of the Champions League. Holland already stands above all of the players in this list, except instead of 30, he's only played in 22 matches. That's eight games less while scoring a considerable amount more. In fact, as of right now, Holland has the best goal scoring ratio of all time in the Champions League, with 28 goals in 22 matches, an insane 1.27 goals per game, far higher than Ronaldo, Messi, Lewandowski, and even the second highest ever, Jordan Muller, who has 0.97 goals per game in the competition. Right now, he's on track to beat the record for most consecutive matches scored in the Premier League, nearly there with seven only needing to beat 11, and he only needs two more hat-tricks to tie Alan Shearer's record for most hat-tricks in a single season. Season. And he may very well beat Aguero's record for 5 goals scored in a single match with the club. And he's only 12 goals away from being Norway's all-time goal scorer. Insane for someone who's only 22 years old. And with Holland being in the perfect system under a squad with incredible midfield talents like KDB who can provide him the perfect assists, playing under Pep Guardiola whose goal is to get the ball to Holland to score. There's a very high chance he can keep up this insane production while also being the final piece that can actually lead Man City to a Champions League trophy. Right now, the only records I can't see him beating just yet are that of Ronaldo and Messi. For example, Cristiano Ronaldo's single season Champions League record of 17 goals in 11 matches and Messi's insane 91 goals in a year. Because if Holland wants to catch up with Ronaldo's all time record, he'll have to average 46.6 goals a year for the next 15 years to have a shot. And for Messi's 91, Holland would have to average about 1.6 goals a game for the next 60 matches if he wants to beat that. And I'm not saying it's impossible, just incredibly difficult. But for now, it'll be very fun to watch him try. And at the very least, we all have to admit that Erling Holland is legit.